Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. I have missed you all. I've been busy, but today we're making up little mini pineapple upside down cakes. They're simple, we're making them with a box cake mix. Yeah, anybody can make it, I get it. But we're making them in these little mini little cake pans. They're convenient, take to your coworkers, take to your friends, take to your neighbors. They're good for parties, just grab one and eat it. You got your own personal little cake. My grand cake, my grandbabies love them, uh, especially like the orange supreme ones. Have y'all tried the, that one? Uh, put some vanilla icing on it and put them in these little baking cups here and put some orange sprinkles on that vanilla or chocolate icing. Delicious. And it makes you feel special because you got your own little cake. But they're good. You know, just pop them in the fridge. You want a dessert? There it is. And, and it's simple. I'm losing my voice again, y'all. My son right now is horrible. But we're starting out with a boxed cake mix. I'm using vanilla. Okay? Now, on the cake boxes, they always say, you know, add water. But if you add milk and add some pineapple juice, it'll make it more of a rich flavored cake. And always add one more egg. Now, this Pacific box calls for a third of a cup of oil, but I'm doing a half a cup of melted butter. So just kind of switch it up. You get more of that bakery style cake. A lot of people will start adding sugar to it and more flour to these cake mixes. Uh, I, I've tried it and it, there's really not much of a difference. But if you add another egg and switch it up with the butter and, and some milk, if you're making a regular cake even, go all milk instead of water. But I'm going with some of the pineapple juice and some of the milk switch it up a little bit as long as you got the exact amount of liquid in there okay so as I said I'm going in with melted butter and it calls for oil a lot of people will double this and here is my pineapple juice that I reserved from the can of pineapples I'm going half and half. Well, half pineapple juice and half cup of milk. Because it calls for one cup, so I just split it. And then there's one extra egg. I'm doing four. And we're going to beat this up as the directions on the cake box calls for. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I put a, uh, I melted me some butter. And I put a teaspoon in each one and just like brushed it up the sides and you could see some at the bottom. I beaded my cake mix as the box instructions told me to. And we have that. So make sure every one of your dishes are nicely buttered around. It'll make it for easy, easier releasing. And I know what y'all are saying. Well, how's it going to be upside down? If Well, it'll flip right out easily. You could flip it right onto your clean hand with some gloves or right on the countertop. Stick a fork on the side of it and place it right side up. They're simple. They're, they're fun to make. They really are. So I have a third of a cup, measuring cup, one third cup. Because you don't want to um, put too much because if you plan on putting the lid on it, that ain't going to work for you if you go too much. So make sure that's what you have. Level it off. So we'll get these, get this all in here. What am I doing? I forgot to put the pineapple and the cherry. Ah. Let me grab my cherries, y'all, my pineapple. And my brown sugar. I'm a mess. I got Curtis on my mind. See, now, if he was here, he would have told me, Mom, what are you doing? Okay, let me grab my sugar here. I got some brown sugar, and I'm going to go in with a tablespoon. As you can see there, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and we'll get all these filled up. Okay, 
I got a good packed tablespoon in here. Can y'all see that there? Okay. And just kind of break it up. Spread it out a bit. That's it. And I got my pineapples draining in a bowl over here. Now I'm using the 100% pineapple juice that they're packed in. If you want to do the heavy syrup, light syrup, that's up to you. And these fit perfectly in these little pans. And we'll put one of those in there. See there? Now Christmas time, you can switch it up with some red and green cherries. But them green ones here lately are hard to find. Get your cherry in there. Leveled. Let's try this again, Donna. <laughs> All right. And then we'll get that in there. Right on top. Get it all out. And just even it out. Now my oven is preheated to 350. Just kind of level it out a bit. This is fun. You know, when you bake like this, don't be in a bad mood. Be prepared to enjoy it. Because that's what baking should be about you know don't rush it have fun when you're doing it because i've learned that years ago when you're trying to make something just because you want to you just want to see the outcome of it but you're frustrated it don't work you get aggravated and have fun while you're baking that's the bottom line right so i'm going to uh, continue doing these and i'll let you know how many i get here and we're going to get them in the oven about 18 to 20 minutes just until they you insert a toothpick comes out clean you're ready they're done or you press on it and it comes back up bounces back springs back up it's ready just don't over bake your cakes you don't want a dry cake all right so i'm going to finish these up and get them in the oven it's ready so i'll be back actually with the final presentation Alrighty, my friends, mine baked exactly 20 minutes. The ovens vary, that's why I'm like 18 to 20 minutes, or it could take a few minutes longer for yours. Ovens vary. These been cooling, let me see, maybe eight minutes. No, I did say you could put it back in there with a fork, but I never did. It's just I don't want you to burn your hands, but they're actually too heavy to do that. I just put them in my hand. And they're easy to come out. If you see it crusting on the side, just release it with a knife or something. But I wanted to show y'all. See there? They pop right out. They are a little warm. You can let them cool a little bit longer. And just put it down into that pan. That little pan. See how pretty those are? Pop them in the fridge. Set it out on the counter. Hour or so when you know you're going to want to eat it. Because, you know, cold cake, it's not as moist, so set it out for a bit. Or pop it in the oven, warm it back up, just take that lid off. But I'm going to get the rest of these out, guys. Alrighty, there they are. I got them all done, got them all out. Now, be careful when you take those out. I don't want you to burn yourself. You have some gloves, put some gloves on. But I flip mine out right on top of the a clean dish towel and just... Drop it right back in there. I got some old tough hands. It doesn't bother me. You know your hands. Protect your hands. But they, uh, I let them cool eight minutes and they, they pop right out of there. So there they are. I got these little things here. You can get them on Amazon. They're like, I want to say $14 for 50 of them. And you can... Like I said, just store them. Put them in the fridge. They got these little cute lids that pop right on them. Even for the lunches, for the husbands, the kids. Bring some to work. But I better get this lid off because these are still hot. Let me get a bite here with y'all. You could even put some more cherries on there if you like cherries. This is still warm. Look at there. Now we're 
like that cherry. Come here. Mm-hmm. Just a cute little delicious dessert. Mm. Boy, is that good. But there they are, y'all. I wanted to bring up to y'all, too. I got several letters from Curtis. I got one letter and two phone calls. And, um, since he's been gone. And, uh, I got slammed with five letters today. You talk about me jumping for joy. But I didn't like the letters I got. Um, he's really sick. He went to the doctor. He said just to sit there four hours for them to tell him there's no available appointments. So they instructed him to go to the ER. He has a double upper respiratory infection. Um, he's got a sinus infection. He's got an ear infection. He's got a throat infection. And he's just worried. You know, it's a lot going on for him right now. But other than that, he has no regrets. He's loving it. So y'all send some prayers his way, please. He sent that letter September the 30th and got it today. So he said they put him on six different medicines. So I'm hoping and praying. Pray to God he's feeling better already. But ah, say some prayers for him, y'all, please. Um... There's the little cakes. I wish our Curtis was here to eat one with us, but um, myself, instead of eating it with a fork, I'll take the whole cake out and just bite on it like a snack cake because it's actually harder to eat them out of the tin trying to cut the pineapple. It's better to just take them right out and eat them. But there they are. You guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe and share, and you guys can go check out my merchandise. The the tabs the, the tab is right below. You can see it there, the store. Click on that and share. And I love you guys. Uh, husband's surgery is coming up Friday. I'll keep you all updated. But until then, you guys stay safe, stay blessed, love one another. And I say eat some cake. <laughs> I love you all. Bye-bye.